Hey guys, look what my pretty male girl brought me today. Berries, plated bullets. Can we see this? 147 grain, round nose. I also got uh, 250 rounds of 124 grain. Gonna mess with those later, right, you know? It's all about 147 grain. Now, I have set my dies. We're gonna recheck them, of course. And what I've discovered the other day, do you remember me saying that it was, it was throwing um, the powder charge, the powder measure was not really very consistent. What I've discovered is, let me show you something here. Okay, hi. Okay, so here's the, here's the deal, yo, right? And what happens is, when you're actually using this, all right? Okay, this is right now is on the D prime resize, which we don't need. So we come around to the, to the powder measure. We insert a case. We fill it, and we leave our and we leave the case in, right? Bring it down. Get one of these slick little bullets. Put a bullet in. Now we pull the bullet up into the bullet seating die. Done. Back down. And what I want you to notice is this thing. Jerk, jerk. What hap what's happening is, as this turns every time, it helps settle the powder down into the measure better. Before, when I was doing this, I just had it set stationary, and I was just checking loads. And, but I, what I found, after a little practice, before I got my bullets, was that because of this jerking and spinning motion here, that this seems to uh, work really well. Alright, so, check it out. Oops. Yeah, it's a bullet. How cool is that? It's a handmade B bullet cartridge. Let's celebrate. Mm -hmm. B bullets. I can't get this in the screen. B bullets. This is B bullet number one right here. That's pretty cool, huh? Actually, it's B-Bullet number two, because I had to set my dies. And, but, so, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, anyway, what I was starting, let me backtrack in case I didn't finish my thought, which I know I do a lot. Because of this jerking motion going around, the uh, powder measure is throwing very consistent measures now. And uh, I'd actually switched it down one VMD because I wanted to start a little lower. After it got, I got it shaking and doing its thing, it was getting up towards 3.6 and 3.7 um, grains. And that's a little more than I wanted to start with on this load. So now I'm, I'm loading at 3.2 grains. So, we're back to the... Uh, Back to the resizing and decapping die, which we don't need. We just skip it. Do another one. Set a bullet on there. Set it. Crimp it. Skip. Powder. A little slick bullet. And I did check, and I like this powder because if you do a double load by accident, it will fill the case right to the rim, which is a good thing. That way you know that you have uh, made an error. Whoops, what did I do? There we go. And you're just reaching for these little bullets all the time now, aren't you? I like this. Yes. 
devices. There we go. Setting the uh, dies was very simple actually. Just had to just follow the instructions basically. You screw it down to touch the, the case holder and then up three turns and you on the uh, oh, on the uh, this one which almost touches that one you just unscrew this and uh, I, I just had to do it a couple times to get it to the right depth you know squirrel it down a little bit spin it down and uh, that was that all in all very simple once you once you get all your parts and pieces and so I'm going to realize that here in just a minute we're going to take these down to the range and and shoot them right how exciting is that I think this would actually be a little faster if I wasn't trying to talk and just concentrating on what I was doing. Ten. Aren't those pretty? <laughs> I'm just pretty excited about this guys okay well I'm not gonna mess with this I won't jazz around with the camera um, hopefully that was you know if anybody if I can answer any questions for anybody that has you know just be feel free to ask if anybody has anything to tell me hey dumbass you're doing it wrong please do and uh, this has been really fun and it's not over yet I'm gonna go shoot these and see how they shoot maybe fiddle with the powder and uh, anyway also I was very very impressed with those that came in these really nice black plastic boxes with their label on them I was kinda thinking they would probably just come in a baggy or something very nice okay this is my first 10 reloads guys this is 147 grain over unique these are uh, Barry's plated bullets wish me luck Might be a little underpowered. They were fun to shoot though, but didn't hold my slide open. Okay, well, I've got a few more. I went ahead and made 20. Okay, first we've got two Federal 115 stock ammo, and then two of my news. Um, two of the, my new 147s. Yeah. They're a little underpowered, I'm afraid. 
two Blazer aluminum 124s and then two of my new 147s. It won't hold my slide open. Okay, this time, this is two of my new reloads and then followed by two RWS-124. Oh, there's a huge difference there. This time, two of my reloads followed by two Freedom Munitions 147 grain. Okay, this is the last of the comparison shots. This is going to be two of my carry ammo. Gold dot 124 grain followed by the new reload. Wait, is that right? Yep. Hold it open that time. Okay, guys. I think that I'm going to have to nudge the powder up just a little bit. Just for, uh... Am I screaming? I think I'm going to have to nudge the powder up just a little bit. It's like 3.1 right now. I'd like to get to uh, about 3.3 and uh, try that. I think that that will work a little better just to operate the slide and everything. That was fun though. They all shot. That was very good. And I'm standing on a paint tarp and it looks like I only lose about 50% of my brass. I'll have to get bleeding eyes and go looking for the rest. Y'all take care. Thanks for hanging out with me.